and welcome back to another video okay this is home hydroponics it is solar powered hydroponics and it is just in beto buckets little solar panel up there obviously every time i film the sun is behind that bloody palm tree but anyway welcome back we have a few issues with our hydroponics and what looks like slug damage maybe yeah that's some slug damage there so I think slugs have been eating my cauliflower. This one's not going too well. It was looking okay the other week, but it's kind of crashed and burned. And this one here has some major issue with it. I don't know if that's something eating it or lack of nutrients or something like that. But we do have that one, which looks absolutely perfect. And yeah, it is the same system. So. I don't know, this is the first time that I've been growing cauliflower in hydroponics, so obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I do kind of know what I'm doing, so I know what solution to use and all that. So maybe it's just not enough sun. But saying that, we are sort of in the middle of the day. The sun goes all the way over there, then all the way over there. So we do get a fair bit of sun in this cage. And yeah, why would that one be working so much better? than those ones but I think it is what it is yeah so I don't know if that's actually going to be any good googling it it has told me a few things about you know lack of nutrients and all that sort of stuff I just don't know not too sure so if you've got any suggestions or what have you comment down below pH of the water seems to be vaguely in where it should be and yeah there's enough nutrients in there when I check it with the bloody meter and stuff so I don't know that looks like it's a totally different problem than that one so yeah anyway and I think out of all those this one didn't develop a head and now that it's starting to heat up unfortunately I think it's going to be too hot to grow cauliflower because we're in the subtropics and yeah my purple one didn't really produce a head I think it started but I don't know and because it's a different variety I'm not too sure if they just get taller like it has before they produce the head or not but not really holding much hope for that one but we did kind of get a cauliflower there kind of sort of but yes anyway any suggestions on what it possibly could be with this I don't think it would be lack of nutrients since it's the same actual system and you would expect them to all look dodgy but two out of three is probably not great is it look at that i'm sure that's some sort of damage it's probably wouldn't be mites because i think we're a little bit too cold for mites at the moment but who knows what it is anyway why we are here i thought i would show you not these little iceberg lettuce which are pretty much just growing in dirt I know it sounds exciting because where else would you grow lettuce well you would grow them in hydroponics like we have here now these were going really really well until the storm hit and then that damaged a fair few leaves and now we have blazing sun hitting them it's still winter we've got another month of winter before it starts to heat up so yeah once spring hits that's the end of lettuce we're not going to be able to grow lettuce it's just going to be too bloody hot but look at my control. That is my control, which is growing in dirt, the same as the ones you just saw. And these are the hydroponic ones. And I oh know, I'm gonna upset it. Look at the roots on that. That is the difference in size. That is crazy. And again, it is just hydroponics and it's solar paneled hydroponics. Solar paneled, solar powered hydroponics. Pump in there, pumping the nutrients through that little pipe and back in. Yeah. I think this is probably the last lettuce crop I'm going to do because I have way, way too much lettuce with the Beto buckets out the back and yeah, the crack key method and all that sort of stuff. There is lettuce freaking everywhere. But I thought I would just do a video if anyone is quite aware of what on earth would be wrong with the cauliflower. I'm guessing it's just some sort of bug or something screwing it around because yeah I don't know something's dodgy with it oh well I'm guessing the fish can eat that otherwise everything else seems to be going okay all my tomatoes have survived the frosts look at that I haven't turned red yet 
but these are beefsteak tomatoes. They've slowed down a fair bit, mainly because it has been so bloody cold. Not freezing cold, but yeah, it's been cold though. And we've got a fair few of them growing, so hopefully we will have, oh, these ones actually starting to change color. That's a bit of a shame, seeing they're so small, but they seem to have got pollinated in the cage. I'm guessing the wind has just pollinated them. We should have at least one crop of tomatoes here. All the Beto bucket tomatoes and stuff like that around the back are going well and they're starting to turn into tomatoes. The Beto buckets kind of got a little bit trashed in the storm, unfortunately. So yeah, we didn't get many more of these actually get pollinated, but the few that were pollinated beforehand are starting to look like tomatoes. So I think it was just unfortunate that the storm trashed them a little bit and yeah a few other things and the bloody cold oh my goodness yeah we survived frost we had frost on the ground these are obviously elevated above the ground in beto buckets but a few leaves got absolutely screwed up oh actually that's a not nah, that's not even that's not even frost damage that whole thing there just got snapped and bent over what a shame yeah, mainly because of the bloody wind. Yeah, when we get storms, we get storms, unfortunately. And yeah, it was a fun storm. So a few have survived. Anyway, that is that. The lettuce, now the sun is starting to absolutely kill them. So I need to move them out of the sun, which is pretty easy to do. I'm actually gonna move them over here where these other Cracky Method buckets are. And we have some tomatoes. Oh, look at that. That came straight off the vine. Yeah, so that seems to be working. I have not actually done anything to these apart from plant them and, yeah, remove a few leaves that were mite damaged and stuff like that. But we have a whole heap more there and there. I just had to move them a little bit safer under cover and the storm didn't wipe these ones out. But obviously, yeah, you just have to be cautious about any other bloody plants outside when there's a storm. Exciting stuff. Anyway, back to the rest. I thought I would just do a small update on some of the hydroponics. Yeah, any suggestions on that would be wonderful. If you do like garden videos and stuff like that, feel free to subscribe and yeah, comment in the comments because not many people comment and thank you very much to the people that do comment. But look at that, Cape Gooseberry. That's exciting. They managed to actually, or I managed to have this survive another year and I don't know if you've ever grown these before but there's this bloody what's it five striped or seven striped potato beetles oh my god they don't eat potatoes but they completely wipe out cape gooseberries and this is the Australian version I think there's a different cape gooseberry overseas or something like that correct me if I'm wrong but yeah there's a few different types of plant they call a gate cape gooseberry cape gooseberry yeah it did get really, really high, but I trimmed it down just before winter and now it's starting to take off again. But anyway, otherwise we have a whole lot of tomatoes we are going to sort out. Don't know if that, yeah, that looks like some sort of bug damage. Little buggers. It looks variegated, but it's not. So I'm going to have to deal with that soon. And while we're quickly here, I am sorting out a new hydroponic area here. So this is going to be undercover. I'm going to probably replace this with something a little bit clearer because it's just old roofing. Yes, I don't want them out in the open because they're going to fry, but I'm just going to hook these all up, have the water recirculating and hydroponic aquarium plants, I think. Yeah, I'll see if I need to put lights on top or not, but I think we'll be pretty okay without lights in there. Anyway, just a short video to say what on earth is happening with that. This is working really, really well. I think I'm gonna replace these in another week or two with something else, something a little bit more sun hardy. Any suggestions, comment down below. That would be wonderful. And yeah, we will see you in the next video. Thanks heaps for watching.